Bam, a big thanks to Paradox for sponsoring this video. They truly recognize my skills as a colony manager. G yes, my skills. Anyway, on with the video. Captain's log, star date 43. It is with a heavy heart that we put one of our first colonists into the ground. Time truly waits for no one. So that is why we're going to build many more domes. That means we can get more people on the planet, and hopefully they won't die anytime soon. Jubilations! The day was a tough one. Oh. We lost one of our founders. Who was it? Oh, Arnav. My dear friend Arnav, rest in peace. You were one of the good ones. Arnav! Okay, I think we are going to build the most ambitious project ever, ever seen by man. Uh, ooh, barrel! Love that. Yeah, sure, I don't know what, what we're doing with the barrel. That's fun. And then we come down to, like, the triangle zone. Love it. Build them all. Uh, where is my boy? My good boy. Old mule. Uh, from here. Take concrete. Down to here. They're gonna need a lot of it. Ooh, polymers. How much polymers do you need? You need 16. Research wow, Microdome doesn't even doesn't even want it. Microdome's amazing. God, we can make just all the microdomes. Uh ooh, passengers. Welcome aboard. And once that is built, we need to get rare metals. Grade. Very low grade rare metals. Okay, well, that sucks. Wait, we brought tourists. Ah, oh, nuts. This is we're running like a serious thing. Everyone has to work. I don't really have any fun things for you to look at. It's literally just the space bar. I guess you can come see the crops. <laughs> if you fancy. That's like, well, I guess, you know, if you come to Mars, I think just seeing a dome is going to be amazing, right? You come in. You see the statues of King Tom, and you're like, wow, that guy. We heard he was a despot back on Earth, but actually this place is great. And I'd be like, you're right. You are right. Uh, Dust Storm. Who is that going to upset? It is going to upset Oxygen. We have pretty good Oxygen. Total demand. Dust Storm's lost a while, though. Composition of the debris collected from the anomaly site has proven to be an uncrackable riddle for our science team. Oh, nothing like a good puzzle. We can build additional water extractors. I don't think that's going to hurt. Actually, wait, no, that'll be great. Uh, because I want it, I want more fuel. God, I keep forgetting. Like every research complete. Every plan that I make. Connect my domes. Okay, right. All the domes will be connected. Uh, we can, in theory, turn some of them off. We've got water in the bank. Yeah, if you dig up your own concrete, you can use that for buildings and repairs and, and the whatnot. Nice, we're actually making food. Uh, oh, life support. Anomaly analyzed. Wait, this whole time. God, I keep, like, looking at that and thinking it is not that. Oh, dust melancholy. The dome resonates with a quiet but never-ending growl. You toss and turn in bed, but sleep escapes you. The sound of the dust storm keeps colonists awake at night. Combined with gloomy, sunless daytime sky, the conditions have made colonists weary and irritable. That's Mars, baby! We can take it easy for a couple of days. Space bar, let's have a party. It sounds kind of jokes. Uh, increase the comfort of residents permanently, improving communications with Earth. You know what? Do that. Like, everyone can, like, FaceTime their friends. Um, we can start streaming Farm Hub to them. You casually slump down in your favorite armchair and turn on the monitor to watch the latest episode of the trendiest TV. I deliver between 4 and 24 minutes. Here are new communications. Free access to information from Earth at their leisure. You know what? That sounds great. That's real nice. The odd composition of the debris collected from the anomaly site uh -oh. has proven to be an uncrackable riddle for our science team. Whoa, whoa. The more we know, the more we realize we don't know. Scan. Nothing like a good puzzle. Okay, get out of here, anomaly spaceship. Analyzed. Rockets got launched during dust storm. Ow. 
Okay, oh, right, we've only got 23 hours of dust storm. It's not the end of the world. We have air for days. Oh god, we've got so much air. Like, too much air. Power's good. We've analyzed material Ooh. from the anomaly, and it completely validates our hypothesis on abiogenic petroleum. What? A pocket of natural gas we discovered deep among the hydrocarbon rocks was nothing short of evidence of petroleum formation. The geophysicists here at Mission Control stare at the research data in disbelief. Mars, even in its alien nature, has proven once more a teacher in the mysteries so well veiled on our homeworld. Okay. On site volatiles experience. Yeah, sure, why not? Do that. Okay, let's call some supplies in. Available rockets. We'll get another passenger one. Ooh, we've got to start letting in some people who aren't as good. Come to Mars. Uh, Alright, I need bits. I need some tech. God, what do you want to do? Give give a man a fish? Give a man a machine parts factory? No. Give a man a machine part, he'll have machine part for a day. Give a man a machine parts factory? Maybe he'll be super cool. Okay, right, we super need people living down here. Oh, the Taurus. The Taurus is going. Goodbye. Taurus. <laughs> See ya. Uh, can I just get away with giving these guys like a little living house and maybe even a grocer's? Put a grocer in the middle. I just, I just really want some people working here to make me money. New colonists have arrived. Okay, we've got more colony people. Who's this going? Four people are working. Four people live there, but some people come to work. No one lives here. Some people live here. I don't know if we can get people working around the clock on this. We have a food shortage. Oh shit, the bed. Okay. Uh <laughs> that's my bed. Load. Load with food. Starvation. God, how can they be starving? They've been here for like one day. Just like go to another place. Like, bleh, I don't want to have to walk through the tunnel. I'm scared of the tunnel. It's fine. I'll bring you food. Look at them panic. Jeez, guys. Our colonists are starving. You're not starving. <laughs> you have food. Just eat the food. Eat the food. Eat the food. Machine parts. Do you make this like production house? Yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay, right. You have got some buildings inside and a grocer's. Are you in range to get food from here? Maybe. Right, you are okay. Shifts are good. We are getting metals in now, which is great. Uh, we can start selling that stuff. Each one is worth 30, 30 bucks. Okay, we're always good on water, so let's get that petrol refinery. Well, it's not petrol. Fuel. Fuel refinery up and running. Polymer factory. Oh yeah, we do want to make polymers at some point. Where do we go? Just slam you in the back here? Doesn't hurt. This is kind of where a lot of our stuff is getting um, maneuvered around. The rover manipulators held the silver-white mineral up to the camera just as the chemical analysis came through. Oh! We found tellurium. Tellurium! In a moment, the chief engineer at Mission Control was at the communication station, urging instructions to the RC Explorer on how to handle and analyze the discovery. It was amusing to watch the almost childlike excitement in his eyes. Uh, sure. Ro Robotex. Okay, just te technology is getting better. It's good, good for robot. Right, I want people working round the clock, making me machine parts. 5.2 a day. We super need, we need more. Oh god. That's bad. Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Uh oh. Hypothermia. That ain't so good. Troubling. Right. We had a little we a little power outage in the night. That ain't so good. We gather here today oh. to bid a final farewell to one of our finest. Oh. Oh god, I hope it wasn't anything to do with the old um Hypothermia. They died of old age every time. 
Oh, that, that is a natural death. That's fine. Okay, right. We're going to have everything kind of probably have to turn off at night time. I do not need this many moxies on. It was just a knee-jerk reaction where I just panicked. Okay, that saves just a ton of power. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Drones move 40% faster. Look at them go! <laughs> just so fast! The fastest boys alive. Experimental rocket. What is this? A new rocket engine has been developed by our sponsor on Earth. They have offered us the dubious honor. Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I'll just... When it lands, we'll just put it somewhere a bit further away, huh? Oh, a fresh wave of passengers. So I think that's our existing rocket. And is this the experimental one? I hope it's all okay. Ah, it seems fine. Everything's great. Cool. Okay, there's a ton more people. A colonist has died. Oh, how? Oh, shit. Why were they sad? I guess, like, they just literally went into this house, came here, and then went... Oh, God. Okay, right. Let's, uh... Let's try and up... Up the fun. Do you like a diner? Sure. It's the, it's the old... Minor diner. Okay, dust storm. Not so good. Fracture? How are you fractured? Do you don't have polymers? That is super bad. We definitely do have polymers, but where am I storing you? Here. You come. Polymers. F fast. And deposit. Okay, this this is this is just bad news. A colonist has died. Ooh, that's not good. Broken dome. Nervous colonists watch as cracks in the dome slowly leak out precious air into the dust storm. That ain't good. We need colonists to go outside. At least we'll be contained. We're trained for this. We'll weather the storm. Colonists. Oh man, I give an amazing speech. Oh, so good. And don't worry, we're repairing it. Resources are low. It's repaired. Oh, nice. Now that these are back online, the power situation is actually pretty legit. Wait, how are you cracking again? It's because you're the microdome. The microdome's just not good. Okay, we're not making cash now though, which is the problem, but we'll just we just have to abandon this dome short term. I cannot afford to repair it until we get a bit more in the way of polymers. What is wrong with you? This building is malfunctioned. They can repair it with polymer. Now nah, nuts. Stop! Stop telling me about that dome! <laughs> Here, right. I really need polymers up and coming otherwise we can't repair domes anymore which is just super Research complete super bad for business it takes more than bravery to be a pioneer of the martian frontier oh or at least it should oh no someone's become a courage is finite someone became a coward that's okay <laughs> Meteor shower incoming. Oh no, not meteors. Captain's log, Stardate 53. We're beginning to run out of good applicants from Starfleet. So it means that we're going to have to let the gluttons come to the planet. I sure hope they don't eat all of our food, as we're only making a few crops right now. Also, we seem to have a problem with our Triangle Dome. It's leaking heavily. What the heck, Triangle Dome? What the heck? Okay, repairs are kind of working. Everything's sort of coming back online. We'll have new colonists soon. Now we need to work on our infrastructure way more. I need a couple more trucks to uh, take the good stuff around. Also, my my building's Sector broken. Scanned. Oh, colonists. Please, even if you're gluttons. We shall feed you. Ah, oh, we didn't have electronics. Can I build an electronics machine? Sure, get an electronics factory. Build it up here. This is where most of our like stuff is. So it probably makes more sense. Right, electronics factory. Get that all going pretty good. And I also do want more research. Okay, right, I think we can now repair 
uh, get polymers, come down, and we're going to have to try and repair up this base. Cost of repairs, 35! I could rebuild it for less than that. What the hell? Uh, yeah. There are Earthsick colonists. Can I just, can I just smash this? One of our crafty colonists has significantly improved. Well, okay, it's cheaper now. <laughs> it's 50% cheaper. I guess the game heard, heard us complaining. 17.5 though, that is so much. Whereas building a new one doesn't require any. I don't think these guys can, uh, can go and do one. Well, there's a lot of meteors landing up here. But once we've got this going, we should be relatively self-sufficient. <laughs> Maybe we'll come Anomaly and analyzed. salvage that. Sector scanned. We've got bad news. Oh. The RC Explorer investigating the anomaly accidentally released a pocket of high-pressure gas. Oh, no. Uh, expect fierce dust devils to form at the location. Oh, okay. Where were you, my boy? My young boy. Exploratron. Get out of there. You don't need to be dealing with dust devils. You're too beautiful. Pombro BH-11. Sea type asteroids are the most common of all. They mostly contain exotic materials, rare metals, water, sometimes polymers. We could plan a visit to a detailed scan. I cannot do that. Plan a visit. Pombro. Okay, we can't. We can't do that yet. We've got far bigger problems. Like, uh, everything going slowly offline. Okay, we are repaired up. Stuff is looking Research complete. good. Get a few more people working. Right, let's try and make some people a little bit happier, because right now the sadness is really kicking in. Um, do you want a school in here? I think people are giving birth. We've just found the wreckage of Phobos 2. Ooh! The old pro even had some new data for us to analyze. Phobos 2! Man, so much better than Phobos 1. Uh, launched by the Soviet Union. Uh, great. It shows us more anomalies. Hmm. Okay, dust storms are here. Power's going off. This isn't great. Uh-oh. That's bad. What happened? Everything shut down. We are losing a lot of water. We are losing a lot of oxygen. Oh wait, actually no. Oxygen is fine. Dust storm, 22 hours. How long have we got? Ah, oh, we've got so many. Ah, oh, we've got just so much oxygen. If anything, too much. That's too much air to breathe. Do not need it. Um, and water... <laughs> not great. We're gonna run out of water. Actually, no, not if we make more. How expensive are water tanks? That might be something to uh, stock up on. Uh, the reason I'm building it down here is because there is metal. Metal to spare. Um, and uh, we can collect it. God, I need more polymer soon as well. Man, I could do with this dust storm just getting out of here. I think I need some more of those sterling generators. Or just anything. Any other way to make more power. Power is real hungry. Uh-oh. Everything's gone down. One one hour. God, everyone's going to panic as well. Oh, wait, I can just salvage this building. Well, I could do that this whole time. Okay. Right. Everything should come back online. Let's get these spaceships out of here. Do any of them... Someone got money on. Uh, we've got a bit of cash in the bank, which is pretty pretty good. Okay, we, we really got to research those sterling boys. God, they're expensive. Ooh, some money. Oh, and more people. Right, what do we need to order? Polymers. A lot of polymers. New colonists have arrived. Oh, God, why are we bringing tourists? And people are leaving. Yeah, we have to build a little place down here again. Domes. Micro dome? Do you want to do a triangle dome? No, let's get a basic dome. Why the hell not? Ah, the polymer ship arrived. Yeah, just come come and land. 
as you jump to the pile, you still get kind of like cycled around. Oh, a party. The door of your command room opens, and you're hit by a loud noise. A party! Small groups of people talk and laugh, while others dance to the groovy music. Someone sees you and stops you abruptly. Everyone's looking slightly guilty. I expect maintenance and efficiency reports. Uh, who gave you permission? Smile and wave. Leave, let them have the way. The secret boost stash is in this locker. You call this dancing? Let me show you! Oh man. Like, bust down, bust some moves. Uh, that sounds like the most hilarious. I think giving them my secret boost stash probably pretty bad for, pretty bad for business, but... Bonk. You can't remember the last time you had so much fun. Oh, extra comfort for everyone. Love it. Captain's Log, Stardate 65. It is true that whilst having our party, I have managed to cement myself as the greatest dancer on Mars. I feel our mission has come to an end here. Huzzah! The King of Mars and the King of Dance. What fun we've had. In space! Captain out. Once again, a big thank you to Paradox for sponsoring this video. Uh, it was super, super cool. Uh, they helped support this channel, um, so please help to support them. If you like the look of this game, click on the link in the description below. You can play the game today! Have your own parties in space. See ya!